buried beneath the ground. There are old tombs full of secrets. These secrets are so mysterious that archaeologists keep them hidden from everyone. These hidden tombs hold treasures and puzzles that are hard to understand. Why are these tombs kept a secret from the world? What are they about? Join us in today's video as we take you on a journey to discover the secret ancient tombs and the incredible mysteries they hold, which might change what we know about history. The Thracian tomb of Kazanlak, located at Kazanlak, Bulgaria. This old tomb is from 300 BC. It probably belonged to an important leader of the Odrysia tribe who lived in what is now central Bulgaria. The tomb is located 5 miles, which is 8 kilometers, from the Thracian capital of Scythopolis. It was found by chance in 1944. The tomb is shaped like a beehive. It was likely inspired by early tombs in Greece. However, this Thracian tomb is much smaller than those tombs. The main burial chamber is only 10.5 feet, which is about 3.2 meters high. The tomb is divided into three main parts, a small room before the main room, the main burial chamber and a passageway connecting the two. The walls of all three parts are covered with paintings. These paintings depict geometric patterns, battles, horses jumping around and farewell meal for a dead man and his wife. The paintings are in very good condition and are considered to be some of the best preserved artworks from the Hellenistic world. The tomb is so important that it is kept inside a protective enclosure. Visitors can see a copy of the tomb nearby. The tomb was designated as a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1979. Mausoleum of the First Qin Emperor, located at Qian, China. The Terracotta Army of China. The First Emperor of China, Qin Shi Huan, unified China into one country. He made the same writing system, weights, measures and coins for the whole country. He also built roads, walls and fortifications. But the most impressive thing he built was his tomb. The tomb of Chinese emperors were designed to be like their homes on earth. Everyday objects, bronze statues of ancestors, musical instruments, wives, courtesans and servants were often buried with the emperor to help him in the afterlife. The historian Sima Qian wrote that the tomb is a miniature of the universe. The 8,000 life-size soldiers, sometimes with horses, of the famous Terracotta army were modeled on real people and they were holding real swords and spears to protect the emperor's tomb. Each soldier has a different face, making them look real. To make them even more real, their weapons, clothes and hairstyles are all different. This huge terracotta army shows how powerful and ambitious the first emperor of China was. Ming Tombs located in Beijing, China. In 1402, Zhu Di took over the Chinese throne from his nephew Zhu Yunwen. He became the third Ming emperor and moved the capital from Nanjing to his own city, Beijing. When his wife, Empress Chu, died in 1407, Zhu Di sent a fortune teller to find a good place to build his tomb. The chosen area was good for both, scenery and defense, as it was surrounded by mountains on three sides. Construction began in 1409, and 13 of the 16 Ming emperors were eventually buried there, the last tomb dating from 1644. The tombs cover 15 square miles, 40 square kilometers, Although the tombs are of different sizes and grandeur, they all have the same basic layout. Each mausoleum is surrounded by a wall 
and has a gate called the Gate of Prominent Favor. This leads to the Hall of Prominent Favor, where the deceased emperor's descendants offered sacrifices and worshipped him. The halls are generally made of Nanmu wood, which was popular in the Ming era. Behind the hall is the walled burial mound for the emperor and empress, and in front of this is the Seoul Tower. This small building holds a stone tablet with the emperor's posthumous title. Surrounding the complex were the quarters of the officials who were in charge of the offerings. The bricks used in the construction weighed about 55 pounds, 25 kilogram, and had the word longevity imprinted on them. The size of the tombs varied depending on whether the emperor himself built it or his descendants built it. A long sacred way lined with statues of animals and officials leads to the tombs. Today only a few of the tombs are open, with the tomb of Su Di to be the most impressive. The Mausoleum of Sun Yat-sen, located in Nanjing, China. Sun Yat-sen, 1866-1925, is known as the father of modern China. He was against the monarchy and spent many years in exile after a failed attempt to overthrow the monarchy in 1895. In 1911, Sun declared China a republic. When he died in 1925, the new republic was still unstable and the new government did not control much of the country. Sun asked to be buried in Nanjing, the city where he first declared the republic. But he probably did not imagine that his mausoleum would be so grand. More than 40 designs were submitted for the site on Purple Mountain. The chosen design by Lu Yanxi was a modern interpretation of ancient classical Chinese tomb design. The design and scale of the mausoleum are similar to the tombs of emperors. It looks like a bell from the air. A marble memorial archway marks the beginning of the site, which is laid out along the north-south axis. Beyond a path lined with pine and cypress trees, there is a formal three-arched entrance with copper doors. Behind this is a marble pavilion with a 30-foot, 9-meter-high stone tablet. From here, a steep staircase leads up the mountain to the large memorial hall. The hall contains a marble-seated statue of Sun with the flag of the Republic tiled on the ceiling. To the north is a circular chamber containing the recessed marble sarcophagus with a prostate statue of Sun on the top. Kom el Shakafa Catacombs, located in Alexandria, Egypt. Alexander the Great, who conquered Egypt in the 4th century BCE, founded and named Alexandria in his honor. The city became the cultural center of the Greco-Roman world in the Eastern Mediterranean, famous for its magnificent library and its lighthouse, one of the seven wonders of the ancient world, although neither has survived. One day in the 19th hundred, a man was riding his donkey, fell into a hole in the path. This accident led to the rediscovery of a labyrinth of catacombs, which may have begun as a private family tomb, but developed into the largest Greco-Roman necropolis in the country. The complex was dug down about 115 feet, 35 meters, with three levels of rooms and tunnels. Bodies were lowered down a shaft, which was surrounded by a spiral staircase for visitors into a passage. This led to a doomed central rotunda, and a banquet hall where relatives feasted in memory of and near to their dead. It was considered unlucky to take away the dishes, so they were smashed in the place. Hence the name of the catacombs, which means mounds of shards. Some corpses were buried in niches, and there were also urns containing the ashes of cremated bodies. 
The catacomb decorations are an unusual mix of ancient Egyptian and Greco-Roman motives and themes. For example, the Egyptian god Anubis, who was associated with rituals for the dead, is depicted as a Roman legendary in armor, while giant serpents and Medusa's heads create an almost cinematic atmosphere. Part of the complex was dedicated to the Greek goddess Nemesis. Tutankhamun's tomb, located in Luxor, Egypt. The Valley of the Kings is a desert area west of Luxor, where the pharaohs of the New Kingdom period, 16th century BCE, were buried. During this time, Egypt was the center of an empire and the most powerful country in the world. The tombs were robbed centuries ago, but in 1922, the English archaeologist Howard Carter discovered a tomb that was still almost intact and contained amazing treasures of Egyptian art and craftsmanship. Carter and his financial baker, the fifth Earl of Carnarvon, were the first people in thousands of years to enter the tomb of the young king Tutankhamun. The world's media made a big deal about the event, and there was a fear that a deadly curse would destroy everyone involved. The discovery made Tutankhamun the most famous pharaoh, even though he only ruled for a few years. His fame comes from the fact that his tomb was found intact with its magnificent treasures, rather than from the historical significance of his reign. Tutankhamun became king at the age of nine, and political decisions were likely made by his advisors, such as the Vizor Ai, who became his successor. The treasures continue to draw large and fascinating crowds whenever they are displayed. They include the king's golden coffin and mask, his carved throne, model ships, jewelry, lamps, jars, chariots, boomerangs, and bows and arrows. There were also brightly painted scenes on the tomb walls and even long dead bunches of flowers left with his body. For many years people thought that Tutankhamun was murdered, but a thorough re-examination of his mummy in 2005 did not support this idea. Instead, it suggested that his leg was so badly broken that it caused a fatal infection. More than 60 other tombs in the Valley of Kings have been excavated. Thank you for watching till the end. Let us know which of these tombs left you wowed. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe to this channel for more amazing content. See you in the next video.